I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video I will show you one of my worst investments into the crypto space. Chambi Valley. It is quite an interesting story. Obviously, everybody loves to brag about their gains, as I also like to do. But this is a very interesting learning process. So therefore, I would like to point out that this has been one of my uh, recent biggest losses, right? So definitely the Terra Luna loss was most significant. But before that, Chambi Valley basically was the biggest loss. And I also think this project is beyond recovery. In this video, I will tell you specifically what I learned throughout the process uh, and what is more most important to consider. One of the most important things is that this is a very good idea, right? I like the idea of this game. I like what they're trying to do, but the team has no understanding uh, in terms of tokenomics, right? They also have a very weak understanding of the crypto space uh, and they are first-time founders, it appears, in the way how they communicate and deal with problems. So as of the launch, Chambi Valley did a initial offering on Qcoin, which basically made the token pump, right, from 15 cents. Uh, and then basically it uh, it crashed down thereafter. They did offer a staking uh, process, which I participated in, and I just withdrew my tokens, but it already ended April 14th. Since then, the tokens have become less and less valuable. So here it was one cent, and right now it is <laughs> 10 times less even. So I made a bad choice waiting. There's no use in selling my token right now, but this is basically a $11,000 investment uh, all the way down the drain right now with $187. So that is a 99.9, .9, I think, uh, percent, almost 90% uh, overall uh, devaluation right but it's uh, it's all good uh, definitely things i would like to point out so you don't have to make the same mistake that i did obviously you gotta note that we're right now in a bear market uh, however a lot of projects have been devalued but not as much as chambi valley and there's quite a specific reason why so let's zoom back a little bit to uh, basically this period right here this is basically the moment where they announced uh, they did an NFT mint, right? But they didn't do the NFT mint in their own token. Uh, they also did have a, a staking option, which I showed you here, which will go over the pools later. Let me first pull up uh, the NFT project. So the NFTs as well have basically been devalued uh, by a tremendous amount. Right, so if we look at the floor price uh, right here, it was basically uh, well, let's say the average price, right? One Ethereum, two Ethereum, uh, half an Ethereum, one Ethereum, uh, still 1.7 ETH, right? But the volume is going down significantly, and you can see 0.2 ETH, 0.2 ETH. There's basically very little progress on the actual game, which obviously this game has quite a big timeline which is uh, important to consider that the tokenomics are the biggest problem, right? Uh, your token has devaluate, uh, devaluated 200x, right? It's basically from 20 cents, 1020, so 200x basically, 200x down, and still you're working with a fully diluted market cap of $30.7 million. Nobody in their right mind would value this project at $30.7 million, right? To cut the supply, they did things like loot boxes, uh, basically diluting their NFT holds. Uh, they did things like staking with insanely high APRs, uh, which again diluted the token amounts. So the team isn't really uh, doing what uh, one would hope they would do, right? Uh, so this is basically here the staking opened on the 13th of January. It was a three month lock, so all the way until April. And you can see this is where I entered as well. So I basically bought at 
the second highest high because this this all-time high is really um, a bad indicator because you could not uh, sell here so it went up because the tokens were locked and as soon as they were unlocked it crashed right so basically this is like a bad charting this is basically the all-time high uh, and i fucked up i purchased on the all-time high because i fomoed into the project uh, without doing my proper research which i usually do and this wasn't even that long ago this was like in, in april uh, in january so it's only like five months ago right now but it's obviously a continuous learning process so um, nobody expected the market to move how it moves but even looking back now i would say that looking at the tokenomics it just doesn't make sense right i mean uh, overall i would say that this project on even 11 cents right which is 110 times the current value would be worth 400 million a game that has nothing out yet with a fully diluted market cap of 400 million is just way too high so the token was devaluating what should i do i just staked it right i staked it for 90 days at 113 percent apr uh, and i had basically i staked 90,000 tokens because the APR in the beginning was a lot higher, like 800%, I, I got like 82,000 tokens uh, for free, right? Something like that. So through the APR. So now I have 180,000. So my that's basically almost double my, my investment, right? So my investment was only worth $90 right now from 11,000. So that's like a huge, huge, huge failure overall. Um, but i feel like it's important to share i think we can all learn something from this because the game sounds like it's a good idea because the light paper is very thorough it doesn't mean the team and the tokenomics are not important the team is so so important and basically after investing into chambi valley which basically has two founders with very little experience their communication on the discord is really weak it's more of a hype project. They have four advisors, but only seven people on their team. Five advisors to seven people on their team. Um, basically, it is very much not balanced, right? Uh, overall, it's quite unfortunate that things turn out this way. But it's definitely good to consider. doesn't mean that Chambi Valley cannot pull things off in the future, right? But there have been so many suggestions offered to this team from the community about token burns cutting the supply basically opportunities to leverage breeding leverage the land sale to do it in chumpy token and to burn all these these things but obviously they have something in mind to make more money right um which i understand but is that the best thing for the longevity of the project i haven't uh, been in touch with the team i haven't uh, re read any updated versions of the light paper but the last time i know there was nothing on the land sale actually there uh, open sea the village pre-sale so they would sell land but there's nothing on that yet so they also uh, updated the roadmap in stages so there's not not actually any dates uh anything uh, realistic uh, but they basically said the staking was the next option, the hatching event uh, that already occurred. So this is definitely also not up to date. And these things are important because the hatching event of the Chumbis, the way, where the seeds hatched, that happened like three, four months ago, right? So in that case, come on, guys, you need to at least keep up with your stuff. It just appears that the team doesn't uh, care that much. Let me check out that Twitter, which I also haven't done in a while. I do follow them still. Okay. They're verified their collections. Okay, cool. You can buy crates. Exclusive staker crates when opened. Okay. So they, they continue to release more collections, right? In order to... Um, basically these are like in-game items that you can use for like gamers uh, that are going to play the game because it's a super risky right that's just like again a panic move to to get people to contribute in uh chumbi token uh, but it's basically beyond that stage right now right right now it's basically being depleted so much they need to come with like more in-game uh, options they do show some things but um, i don't think uh, the move 
basically um, should be to not stake, not burn. Okay, so they, they burned 64 million tokens, right? Uh, but that's obviously far from enough when we're looking at a supply of uh, 30 billion, right? It's like neglectable. It's so little. They need to, to, to burn at least 3 billion, like 10% of circulating supply. Then things start to, to move. Uh, but obviously, how would they get these tokens? They need to do the land sale, which I think is one of the biggest one. If you do properly uh, set up the land sale, everybody's bullish on land sale, and then just burn all these tokens. Yes, they would lose out probably on 10, 15, 20 million dollars in revenue that they could pull in. But I think that is something that they owe to their uh, investors for fucking up the tokenomics so bad. Which I do believe... Uh, should be one of the primary focus of the team. One, developing uh, the game, right? Which is obviously one of the core focuses, should be. Uh, and they talk a lot about NFT drops, blah, blah, blah. Focus on the fucking game, right? This is like some, some very, very small teaser. Uh, the gameplay is probably not ready. Um, and it looks like this is going to be a very disappointing project overall. Uh, was very hyped, as you can see, 250,000 followers verified on Twitter. Everything looked good, uh, but a huge learning experience for me. And as you know, I'm very heavy on the tokenomics. And one of the reasons is this experience. So definitely you need to learn from your mistakes. It's not a bad thing. You have to go through it, you know. If this is from the maybe 250 projects I invested in, one of the major learnings, um, you are basically able for $10,000 to learn a lot, a lot, a lot. But you have to look at the right things. You have to go through the entire process, the NFTs, the light paper. Where did it go wrong? What's happening? Is there any redemption for this project? I don't think so. But $185 is not worth pulling out of the project right now. So if it miraculously some point might return to, let's say, $2,000, I'll take my $8,000 loss. But for now, I'll just sit on my 180,000 uh, Chumbi Valley tokens and see if they're going to do any type of burning or whatever. I usually check this project once a month, right? I haven't looked into it for quite a while as it's not that interesting for me. But huge learning experience. Hopefully you can learn from this as well. The team, the tokenomics are the two most important things and Chumbi Valley is weak on both. I hope they improve. There's always room to improve with crypto. There's so many opportunities. They can do all the suggestions that I implied in this video. And I will probably update you guys in the near future if changes happen. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to have a look. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.